Cicero here from Artix Entertainment, and I just wanted to show you what we've got going on in Here's Mizumi, thinking that I'm not the real Cicero, and I figure that if he's a follower of my Facebook, I can just post this on my Facebook and prove that I am. I don't normally feel the desire or need to prove this to anybody, but right now, I don't know. I have the time, so why not? Hi, Mizumi! Hi! Hi! I'm real! I'm real! Don't run away from me! I'm real! I'm really Cicero! I promise! I won't steal your account. I have Cicero! Okay, so, um, brief history of Cicero. I went to college in Boston, and I went to art college there, and I got my degree in uh, animation and illustration, and I had my reel out there to a bunch of animators, and no hits back. And I was working on a portfolio because I wanted to illustrate children's books. And while that happened, I got a job teaching in middle school. So I taught middle school for a couple of years. And then the winters got to me. I said, screw this. I'm moving back home to Florida where it's warm and the cold doesn't hurt me. So I moved back here to Florida and found a place to live. My savings are running dry. I'm like, okay, I got to find a job. Got to find a job. And I'm looking to get my teaching degree since that's all I've been doing for the last couple of years. And I see online on Craigslist an ad for a flash animator at a local gaming studio. I say, okay, I've worked a lot with flash when I was animating and there's a bunch of other stuff here that I could probably just lie about. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I sent in my demo reel and my portfolio and my resume to Artix Entertainment. And then I'm at the mall drawing people because it's a great place to life draw in the mall food court where people sit down for like 10 minutes at a time. You can just draw them. My phone rings. Can't hear anything, but I, because I know it's probably this company and I'm sitting in my car and I'm talking to a guy named Artix and I'm talking to his friend named Galanoff, who are the CEO and COO of this game company. Respect. Hmm. And they're like, Hey, we saw your reel. We liked your stuff. We'd like you to come in for an interview. I said, okay, great. I'll be there. So I show up and I'm expecting, you know, a big office somewhere with lots of people working on Cintiq tablets. And instead I drive out into the middle of freaking nowhere to this development. Like it, it's a pre-built community in the middle of a swamp that looks like a giant was just walking through cow patties and accidentally dropped a neighborhood. And I walk up to the I walk up to the door and out comes this old man and an old lady. And I say, Hi. They say hi. And I'm like, I'm I'm here to see Adam. They're like, Oh, he's our grandson. I'm like, I'm applying for a job. They're like, Okay, good luck. Nice to meet you. So I met I met Artix's granddad before I met him. So I go inside the house and there's Zub and Sephiria sitting around his, his dining room table, and here's Artix, and he's like, Hey, how you doing? Here's what we do. Let me give you a tour. And he gives me a tour of his house. There's the kitchen. And there's a bedroom. And here's my office. And I'm like, cool, this is this is neat. And they're like, uh, he's like, up for a little test? Okay, I'll I'll do a little test. He's like, I want you to draw me like a helmet, like a knight's helmet. And I say, okay, can I can I look online for a minute? And he says, sure. So I Google Knight's helmet and I get some ideas. And he gives me a pencil and a paper and I go into the room and I draw the helmet and I come out and he's like, oh, did you need something to get started? I said, no, I'm done here. And they give him the helm and he's like, wow, that was fast. And the helm, which I have shown pictures of before, is so shaky because I was so nervous during the interview. Yeah. Absolutely. Like all the lines are wavy. And I was like terrified. And he's like, great. This is, uh, is going to work out. Why don't you stay on for like a 90 day trial? period and if that works out at the end of the 90 days then we'll talk about actually hiring you and i say great this is really cool what what should i do first and they're like draw swords we're working on this game called dragon fable here's the work in progress the proof of concept it had one monster and one map and uh, zoom was working on the basic functionality of the engine he's like we need weapons draw me swords 
I'm like, okay, how many? He's like, just keep drawing them until I say stop. So, so for the next three days... A real person? Yeah. Does she still she was, work with you guys? No, no. She left a couple of years ago. But for a long time, she was our customer service. All of it. And then we brought on Nythera. We brought on a couple of other people. And then she was head of customer support. And then she, her, her husband started a startup. And she decided to go work with her husband and try and help build up the startup. And that's going very well. And she's very happy. And that sounds interesting story. I'm glad her, Samba, and everyone else are doing well. Yeah, and Samba's kicking butt in New York. With Rockstar. Yeah. That's pretty, and that's pretty Lim awesome that she left Arctic is out in San Francisco. and she works for Rockstar now. That she actually yeah. got a boost up. We, got a, we have a couple of people who did that. Actually, I'm not sure anyone's ever left and didn't do better for but when I have more information, I will let you guys know. Sweet. Sadly to say that's further down on the priority list. Yes, or not actually a priority. It's really not. Because we have our priorities set. We have like the things we must do, and then things, things we want to do. Wants to do, and then the things we would really like to do, but probably won't ever happen. Well, you guys kind of threw that on yourselves when you brought in, oh... You're a um evil paladin. You're a paladin slayer. Like y'all never really explained where he came from, other than that. No, we didn't. Y'all just threw it on everybody. Yep, and they ate it up. <laughs> as much as I'd like this to be a group game where you have to consider group dynamics, most people in this game so far prefer playing solo. Yeah, and so we don't want eighty percent of people playing warrior just because it's strongest and has highest survivability like we want it to be relatively balanced <laughs> that sounds uh, really bad if you think about it having people sit on your laps yeah and then they'd also ask me for free presents <laughs> oh, my oh wait they do that all the time anyway how often do you get asked for like handouts daily? <laughs> I mean, I asked Multiple to see his day. weapon before just so I can do a video on it. It's in AQ3D. Assume it won't be rare. Period. Like, this is not AQW. This is not going to be a pinata full of items you can never get again. Yeah. That's not our motivation method. And I've explained, like, at the very beginning of this whole thing why we technically can't do it. Because I don't understand it. Somebody's just sending me a message right now with a picture of their set, which are just items, yeah. a number with of items that we made board. in the game, and they're like, rate my set. <laughs> and I know they're looking for like a number, so usually I say brown. <laughs> well, well, okay, for a second. Well, what, <laughs> what do they want from me? What do these people want from me? We don't put items in the game that look bad, in our opinion, so... You should just say a hundred. It's great. <laughs> Anytime yeah. anyone sends me a picture of their outfit and their facial hair and their sword that they picked out themselves from the items we made and put looks in there, great. I'm going to say looks great. <laughs> the, the real question is, what do you want to be? Because don't, don't say, I want to work for this company. I'll do whatever you want. Say, I'm going to be the best rigger in all of 3D gaming. And then, you, and then say, I'd like to work for you guys. Here's my resume it's pretty extensive i'll work for peanuts because that's all you guys pay so flashback um how did how did it exactly feel to work out of arctic's garage or basement or whatever I, not basement we're in florida what am i talking garage. about just his dining room dining room um it, it was weird i mean i had had internships before out of people's houses and they were always really questionable <laughs> like first off Anyone who says come to my house and work automatically throws off a kind of a rapey vibe and I am <laughs> I think it's the fact that there were other people there too other than just him that <sighs> places. Your mind. Not my mind. 
Oh, no, not yours. Not yours. It, came, it, came from, it came from Arctic, honestly. He said it um, at Dragon Con, I think it was. He is not correct. It's also I'll just say that. I'm going to leave it there. He's not correct. There's also video proof of it, too, that he stated that. Yeah, and I'm letting you know right now, regardless of when this or is, how many cameras is, are on him. This is why you go correct. to Cicero for information. You don't go to Artix. Well, Artix is the CEO, so whatever he says, we try and make happen. But he speaks straight from his imagination. <laughs> that's the problem. And, yeah, and that's the problem. And I try and speak from known knowables. Like, if something is coming, I will say, this is coming. If something is probable that it will come, I will say, this is probably coming. Artix would honestly be like, that's a great idea. It's going in game, and then months later, that's that's not happening. Yeah. But in that moment, what a thrill it is! It's a great idea. Like, oh, until you Artics actually just put to it me. together. He's incorporating it. Yeah. Like once you actually put it out, you're just like, it can't be done. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. Knew. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something.